Walking into Emmanuel AME Church, you notice the beauty, the pipe organ, original gas lamps, the towering stained glass windows, all have withstood the test of time because of the care and commitment from church members like Floyd and Felicia Breland. They were married here at Emmanuel in 1959. That was 59 years ago. Their life and their love is based on their faith. I wanted to go in the dining hall one day and I decided I was going to cut in front of her. <laughs> so I cut in front of her and that was that the beginning. Retired South Carolina State Representative from District 111, Floyd Breland explained how he met his bride. What did you think about this young man who was <laughs> cutting in front of you at the dining hall? He says he caught the attention of the talented co-ed from Charleston named Felicia. Well, he was pretty nice, friendly, laughable and everything. So I let him cut the line. On the campus of Allen University in Columbia, South Carolina. We also were members of the Allen University Choir. So I found out he could sing and I knew music. I played piano and organ by the time I went to Allen. So that music, I think, brought us closer together. Allen University named for Richard Allen, the founder of the African Methodist Episcopal Faith. It is the first university in South Carolina founded by African Americans for the education of African Americans. Freeland says there was tension outside of the campus, but not at Allen. How did it feel being a student on that campus in the early 1950s? You had a lot of support then. Uh, the teachers, from the teachers, on down to the ministers, whenever they would come on the campus, I think about it all from now. They'd give you a quarter, because <laughs> that's quite big money there. Money was tight, but his mind was set on helping students like himself. At Allen, my major was English, mm -hmm. and uh, I taught for a number of years here in Charleston and in Georgia, English. Her passions were playing the piano and the organ, which eventually, led to a lasting legacy. She wrote the alma mater for Columbus Street Elementary School in Charleston. It was Columbus Street School at that time, and um, a brand new school, like I said. So we said, we need a school, so we need an alma mater. So um, with my experience at Allen, I went on and did the school song. Do you and remember it? Yes, some of it. We bow to honor the Columbus Street School. Their love affair with education and Emmanuel grew. Christian, as some people call it now, baptized right here at this altar. And family brought them to the altar at another time in their lives. Lovanza was born in 1964. Their son, Lavanza would grow up to become a music lover like his parents and a member of Emmanuel AME Church. The African Methodist Episcopal faith has always been a part of their lives. I came up in the AME Church from St. George. That's where I used to, used to come to church because the church was right across the field from my house, so which was, which was uh, about a half a block. So I, every Sunday morning, I would go to church, Sunday school, junior church, ACED, I went to church five times a day. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Emmanuel, at the heart of a love story that continues in faith and family.